The U.S. Secret Service tonight making news in New York City, and it has nothing to do with guarding the president. Yeah, instead, it's about a dog. A dog shot and killed by an off-duty Secret Service agent last night in Brooklyn. Did the dog have a leash on, and was the owner holding it? There seems to be some conflicting perspective. Here's Iowa News reporter Kimberly Richardson. This morning when we came, there was still actually a sheet and everything, and it was really sad. That sheet was draped over a couple's beloved dog, a female Belgian Shepherd, which was shot and killed, police say, by an off-duty Secret Service agent. We just heard an explosion. We thought it was uh, something at the construction site. It wasn't. was a single deafening shot that hit the dog. The animal collapsed here at the corner of East 8th Street and Caton Place in Brooklyn around 945 Monday night. The owner, the gentleman there in the blue coat, watched in disbelief. Even now, he was too upset to talk about what happened. But many in this neighborhood filled with dog lovers had plenty to say. The officer was walking here, and in a statement, the Secret Service tells Eyewitness News the agent was approached by a, quote, unrestrained, aggressive canine, adding the dog did have on a leash, but no one was holding it. The owner was not present. Anna finds that hard to believe. She tells me she knows the dog well. The dog was definitely on leash, so. And it's a very friendly dog. He plays with our friend's dog sometimes. It's not clear if multiple cameras mounted on this church captured the encounter. The dog owner was headed there this afternoon. That dog never did anything wrong, you know, and it's, you don't go around shooting a dog. And many here tell me they're puzzled by the agent's extreme use of force. I just don't think it's acceptable for a trained professional to use a firearm like that. I think his first, um, his first reaction would have been to just kick or hit the dog.